this is based on a Stephen King short that I know nothing about, but I enjoyed the movie. Hello, welcome to Just My Thoughts. I'm your host, Khalil Ward. On this episode, I'll be talking about a Netflix movie called Mr. Harrigan's Phone. It takes us a while to get the main character's name, but his name is Craig. And Craig works for Mr. Harrigan. Mr. Harrigan is this billionaire who's living in this small town because he says he likes the peace and quiet. He's losing his eyesight, so he hires Craig to read to him. So Craig comes to the mansion. He helps around the mansion, but he always reads to Mr. Harrigan. He's been doing this for like five years. And every year on Craig's birthday and a few other days, Mr. Harrigan gives him a, a scratch off. And every year Craig is like, I'm never going to win. And then one year Craig wins. And this takes place around when the iPhone was first coming out because that's that's the theme. Basically, that's that's the big deal about uh, everything in this movie is like everybody has a phone. So Craig gets a phone for Christmas from his father and the money he earned from the scratch off. He decides to get Mr. Harrigan a phone. Mr. Harrigan is like, mm, I don't want this phone, this, mm, this technology, whatever. So Craig starts showing him, like, oh, you can check the stock market immediately and you can read stuff online immediately. You don't have to wait for the newspaper. So Mr. Harrigan is like, oh, okay, I kind of like this. But Craig continues to work for him because he likes that escape. You know, it's a small town. High school is in another town. He doesn't really have, he has a couple of friends, but. He's not popular. So when he comes to Mr. Harrigan, it's like his escape. He likes reading the books. He likes the stories and, you know, the conversations they have. So he keeps, you know, coming around, even though he doesn't have to anymore. Uh, and then eventually, Harrigan dies because he's old. That's what is expected. But before his death, Craig was sending him a message like, I really enjoy spending time with you. I, you know, I thank you for everything. And he never gets a reply because Harrigan dies. So when the funeral happens, he he gives he puts the phone, you know, in the coffin and everything. And he just he's going to go about his life, you know. And Mr. Harrigan had left him a lot of money, money for him to go to college and pursue his dreams that they talked about. So he's like, oh, I, you know, he him and his father are like, wow, that is a lot of money. And now you can go away to school. So he's just living his life and he gets a phone call from Mr. Harrigan's phone. And he's like what is going on. He gets a text message from Mr. Harrigan's phone and he is freaking out. So whenever something happens in his life, he like calls the number and he leaves messages from Mr. Harrigan and it's something that we've seen before, you know, people calling a, a dead person's device to, you know, hear their 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 message, their, their voice on the voice message or something like that. So that's what he's doing to, to escape and, and release. But then weird things start happening. People start showing up dead and it's like, what's going on right now? Is it something to do with the phone? Do I need to disconnect with the phone? Since he got an iPhone, he was kind of in the, the in crowd at this table where it kind of looks like society today where people sit at a table and everybody just takes out their phone and they're just staring at the phone, not talking to each other, texting each other while sitting right next to each other. And he had a, he, he kind of had to escape from that. He had to release from that. And, and get away and go away to school. But something about Mr. Harrigan's phone just kept reaching out to him. So it's one of the, like, it's a mystery at times. It takes a little while to get going again to, to get introduced to Craig and Mr. Harrigan's relationship. But for a short Netflix movie, I was enjoying it. I was, I was interested in what was gonna happen next again, cause I didn't read the short that this is based on. And I was like, okay, what what's gonna happen next that's gonna make Craig react, you know, to getting a text message or you know something like that. So it's not the most developed story, but it was enjoyable. It's watchable. So if you're looking for something on Netflix and it's not Blade of 47 Ronin, don't watch that. Check out Mr. Harrigan's phone. If you've seen it, please let me know what you thought about it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening.